This ape says the whole financial system is corrupt. The stock exchanges, the courts, the regulators, the brokers, and clearinghouses. All we can do is beat them with their own crooked game by hodling. The market makers didn't expect AMC to run before, and they won't expect it to run when it does again. This ape says, let's go, AMC to the moon. If you don't sell, they can't buy. If they can't buy, they can't cover. If they can't cover, they can't stop us, AMC to the moon. This ape says a lot of people claiming that CEO Anna Marin is against retail. In my opinion, this guy is putting forth effort that you rarely see from other CEOs. We know there are billions of fraudulent shares circulating. Patience, AMC. So we talked about in a previous video that the most recent FUD campaign is once again spot on to CEO Adam Aaron. It truly seems like the short sellers are running out of ammo, running out of negative news articles and FUD to pin against AMC. Because the reality is, is AMC fundamentally, the numbers are looking much, much better than they were just a few quarters ago. Which is obviously exactly what you want when you're invested into a stock. The numbers are increasing, and on top of that, the apes are holding on stronger than ever. This ape says AMC and ape, pre-reverse split. $500 is not the MOAS, it's FOMO buying. $1,000 is not a MOAS, FOMO buying plus a few small family offices covering. $5,000 is not the MOAS, FOMO buying plus small family offices covering. 10 k per share plus starts the MOAS. 10 k to 100 k per share is the MOAS, this ape says. So what I want you guys to do is comment down below. What's your real floor price at this time and how much would you actually sell for? Let me know in the comments. This ape says the reason I hodl is because the math doesn't add up. Short interest aside because the main part of this thesis is that it's way understated. Almost 200 million shares are borrowed on AMC, nearly 40% of the entire float. At insane rates, around 100%, 200%, 300%, and we've even seen borrow rates close to 1000%. And this has been going on since December of 2022. To put it into perspective, shorting a stock at a 200% borrow rate, you would need the price to go to zero within six months just to break even. Didn't and won't happen. The math does not add up whatsoever. We already won. We just need the catalyst to force them to concede. Whether you were with or against the ape conversion, I'm hoping that that's a catalyst. And if it's not that, there's other catalysts ahead that many of us are waiting for. Hold on tight apes because this is about to get insane.